The discovery of the truth often seems to me to be so haphazard. <laughs> it's, it's not spelled out anywhere. It just you discover it. It comes up inside, or mm -hmm. you miss it somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, this is where I said it, um, that you have to keep on knocking and keep on asking. Mm -hmm. it, it truth comes, but to the person who seeks it the most, yes. and um, <coughs> and it's very important to have that seeking attitude of truth. And remember, it's not an attitude here. Mm -hmm. It's an attitude here that you have in your heart towards seeking truth. Mm -hmm. So when you have that seeking feeling, that, that emotional feeling towards truth, then you will get the truth quite easily. It's because of the resistance that we have that, uh, that we often avoid truth. And in the first sentence, actually, I might quite, I don't even know if I bought a Bible with here we go. He's going to quote the Bible up now. I've been reading my thoughts. I hate that little book. <laughs> Deal with the emotion, mate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 And this was a verse in the Bible that really appealed to me even in the first century. And I used to quote things from the prophets quite a lot in the first century. And the reason why I did was because there were just so many really good truths that could be illustrated by the words, you know. And one of the things that uh, I used to come against quite often, obviously, in the first century was the, the feeling of resistance in people. And you know that in yourself, even at times, you could feel that resistance within you with something I've said, right? Can't you? You just feel it sort of, oh, that grates on me. What do you say that for? And, and you just, there, there's that wall that comes up inside of us and... It affects us quite strongly. And there's a Bible uh, verse I used to quote from the book of Isaiah about that. And I'll just read it. Um, by hearing you will hear, but by no means get the sense of it. And looking you will see, you will look, but by no means see. For the heart of this people has grown unreceptive, and with their ears they have heard without response, and they have shut their eyes that they might never see with their eyes and hear with their ears and get the sense of it with their hearts and turn back and I heal them. So what God's saying to you is that if you want to shut down yourself and you want to not see things, then that's what is going to be your reality. And if you block your heart to anything, if you block your heart to absolutely anything, in other words, you block your emotional experience to anything, what will happen is you will get into an unresponsive state at some point. And the key in this progression of divine love is for you to never block your heart. If you never block your heart, you will progress so rapidly. And that's why there's been many, many people who are not recognized on earth who have progressed the most rapidly because they have had an open, responsive heart. They have not shut themselves down by when they hear something and it just makes them aggravated. They realize, oh, I'm aggravated, so there's something in me. You know what I mean? They, they let themselves see the truth about what's going on. And when you do that, you don't block your ears and block your, you know, close your eyes to truth. So the, the truth is that God wants to give you the truth. Like God, you know, I used to say quite often that, you know, you, you don't ask for bread and get something else from God. You don't get a stone. You get bread. You know, if you ask God from your heart, you'll get what you ask for. Often, though, what we're doing when it comes to truth is we're not asking for it here. We think we are here, but here we're not. And so that's very important to get into that mode of asking for truth and longing for truth all the time. Yeah. So if I'm in an angry state, like I feel... You know, I'm in this angry state at the moment. The, bit, the angry state that I'm in is about not wanting to take responsibility for the things that I've already taken responsibility for historically. Do, do you follow me? Like, so, so, you know, all these different spheres and, and there's all sorts of things going on in the spirit world at the moment that I'm taking responsibility for. And there's all these things. This responsibility comes with the love that enters you. But I don't want to do it. Like, I feel really resistive. I feel like it's more a duty than a passion. And because of that, there's a fair bit of anger in me about that. About There's a feeling that I have in me that 
I want my personal life to sort out first and then I'll do it. You know, there's that kind of feeling there too, right? And, and so I've got to face that truth that this is how I'm feeling right now. This is how I'm feeling. I've also got to face the truth that how I'm feeling is an emotional error from God's perspective. And I've got to face that truth as well. And then I've got to face, do I want to experience this emotion? So let myself experience the rage that I feel about being forced down a path that at the moment I still don't really feel comfortable with. You follow me? And let myself go through all of those emotions because they are the blocking emotions. So you'll notice these things happening in your own life too, right? Where you're blocking something, you feel angry about something, you feel resistive about something. Notice it, deal with it, let yourself feel it, be honest about it, be honest about it with God and yourself. And then you'll progress really, really rapidly. Don't close down. Don't close down. As soon as you close down, you'll walk away. And then in 10 years' time or 15 years' time or however long you've closed down, you'll look back on it when you reopen up and think, that was a waste of my life. There's no need to waste your life. Just stay open. Just stay open. Yeah.